hello and thank you for stopping by to my YouTube video. My name is Courtney. You can call me Coco. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, I do videos on fashion, travel, and lifestyle, mainly fashion these days. So today, as the title suggests, it's a Zara haul with a little bit of H&M sprinkled in. I know there's a lot of Zara hauls on YouTube right now, and I've actually been avoiding Zara for a little bit just because I know if I go in, I'm going to spend money. So I haven't, I feel like I haven't walked into a Zara for about two months, maybe longer, but I accidentally stumbled in. Found some cute things for the summer, so I want to share with you guys, and I'm just going to style it up a little bit. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see other ways I style it as I'm, you know, doing my day-to-day -day life. Uh, without further ado, let's get right on. Into it. Oh, and before I start that, I guess I could show you what I'm wearing. So right now I'm wearing this black or like off black. I think it's called like the Elio dress. It's from Stod. 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 However you pronounce it. And I bought this at a Rent the Runway sample sale. I have a video. I'll link it up, and then you can. I'll link it up top and you can watch it after this video where I showed you what I picked up from sample sales here in New York City and how you can score some sample sale items yourself. And I'm also wearing jewelry from my own jewelry line. I'm wearing these earrings. These are like half circles, brass, and then I also have most of my jewelry is gold filled. So this is like a gold filled chain, necklace with a little rectangular pendant just you know simple subtle jewelry but it still makes a little statement so my website is cocomadewithlove.com where I say well I sell jewelry so yeah that's pretty much what I'm wearing I'm barefoot right now so there's no shoes to like, show you and my puff is many many years old from the good old beauty supply store okay oh and on my makeup I'll probably link it in the description box if I remember because I don't even know what I'm some old makeup I have in my house. Um, so yeah, so now let's get right on into this try on haul. Okay, so you know how I do. I'll show you the items and then I'll step to the side and show you it, show you like a cut off side by side of me wearing it. The first item up from Zara, let me just zip it up so I can show you it in its full glory, is this cute pair of shorts. Now shorts are a very difficult thing for me to buy. Every summer I feel like I have to replace shorts and they often don't work out for me because they're either way too big in the waist and then way too tight in the thigh or like I'll wear them and the next year they're extremely too tight. So I saw these high waist shorts. Now Zara for me, they be playing me in the pants and bottoms department, okay? But I figured I'd give it a try. I got this in a size large and it goes up to 2XL. Um, usually I would get an extra large in Zara, but they didn't have it in store. I was in the Soho location here in New York City. So I will pop this on over to the side and you'll see it actually fits well. I like how the waistband is thick and sturdy and because it's so high waist, this part is a little tighter. So it's not too much of a gap in the back, which is usually a problem for me. So I do appreciate that and I like the pleats on the front of the shorts. My only issue though is I think it was made for people I can't even say short term so I'm not really sure I just feel like it's giving me a wedgie you know and I don't want it to look like I have a like you know a wedgie that just can't come out every time I wear it so hopefully you can't really tell I don't think you can but you can feel it so if that's something you're not really into I would size up I think if I come across an extra large I will try it on and see if I like it better but I know it's gonna be an issue in the waist and it doesn't have any belt loops so I think I'm just going to keep the large and just be a little bit you know, uncomfortable, but still be cute. So let me know in the comments what you think about these shorts. I think this color is perfect for summer. It's such a great light green color, and you can pair this with pretty much any other color. This looks amazing with blue. I popped it on, as you'll see, with like this blue bag. I think these two colors look great together. Or you can, you know, keep it simple with white. You can wear this with cream, any earth tone, like beige. Maybe even orange, just will look, you might look a little bit like a pumpkin, but it will be cute, a cute pumpkin. Um, so yeah, the possibilities are endless. I think this is a great piece. The color is great, the structure of it is great. You could dress it up with heels and such, or dress it down with sneakers. So that's the first item from Zara. Just toss that off to the side. Oh, and for, uh-oh, no. I just found an issue on my next item. But um, if you, are into palazzo pants, wide leg pants, this video's for you. Cause I feel like I picked up 
quite a few of them just because I love the versatility in them to wear them out and to wear them to work so if you're into that <laughs> this video is for you honey so this nice like burnt orange dark orange palazzo pants it's a pants that Zara brings out just about every year I've been eyeing the one in this pair in lavender but I can never grab it in my size so I have this in an extra large and it fits me perfectly um, the large is just a little too snug in the thigh area the only thing with this is because it's such a lightweight material you just have to make sure your undergarments are very well because it will show everything in the back if you're if you're like panty lines or something doesn't fit well underneath um, I love the length it's very long so if you're a tall girl these are for you if you're short you might just have to go get them hemmed because they will be dragging on the floor I'm 5'6 and they're long on me but as I was just about to show you I noticed I don't know where I saw it along the side there seems to be some fraying of the material maybe it's on the inside oh there it is on the inner bottom part but the, it's not coming apart so hopefully I could cut these little flyaway threads and it'll be okay if not I'll go and exchange it for another pair again I got them in an extra large it goes up to 2XL $39.90 the shorts were I think $39.90 as well $39.90 as well that's like my cutoff price point for Zara on Rebond $69.90 I wait to the sale <laughs> um, so yeah these pants are great I definitely be wearing these to work and if I ever get on vacation again I'd wear them there too they're so cute with crop tops, cold shoulder tops, um, t-shirts even if you're more into being covered up. So yeah, get those pants, they're cute. Just check for any fraying of the material. The next pants is another wide leg pants, but these are going back, y'all. So this one has a drawstring in the front and it's like elastic waist. This material, I don't know what it is, but I do not like it. This pants is $39.90. I got it in an extra large, it goes up to 2XL. Oh, you know what's cute about it is the back, they have these cute slits in the back. I guess to show your heel if you're wearing a cute heel, who knows, but that's a cute detail, but the material is horrible. The material is horrible. So the outside feels nice and soft-ish. The material is thick, so number one, I would be hot in this in the summer. So that's strike one. And then strike two is that I don't know what they did to the inside of this material, but on my legs, it feels like soft-ish, but still uncomfortable sandpaper or some kind of Brillo pad. So it just feels like it's scratching my skin lightly as I'm wearing it. And y'all know I have eczema. I can't have something scratching my skin because then I'm going to scratch my skin and then we're going to have a whole breakout. So these pants are definitely going back. The material is a no for me. The inside is just way too itchy. And it's just too hot for this time of year. At least here, you know, in the Northeast America. I know it's colder in other areas, but to be selling this here during our summer, no. But that's so bad, the pale yellow was cute. And then next up is a top. And it's such a cute top. I realize I don't have a lot of fun, cute, little girly tops to wear like that. So I need to buy some more tops. I also need tops for work. That's just where I'm slacking. But this is a cute You'll see it over there on, oh, it'll look a lot better. But it's like a tube top, it is a tube top open back shirt with these cute cowrie shells. You see that? Along the front and on the neck ties in the back at the ends. And then just has a wider tie to tie around the bottom part of your waist. $35.90, I got it in a medium, that's the largest size. They just have extra small, small and medium. I don't know why. So because it's open back, obviously you can't wear a bra with it, but when I wore it without a bra, I couldn't see through it, so that's good. You know, it's cute. It reminds me of the 90s, what we used to wear in the 90s or early 2000s. It's great for those really hot summer days when you want to be cute, but it's too hot to put on really cute clothes. So you could. this is just very lightweight, little piece of material covering the important parts. Your back is out. You can just grab it and go. This looks great with shorts for a nice casual look. Or you could dress it up with like um, mid, not too high, but like mid or low waist wide leg pants. And this is, the cowrie shells are definitely giving me vacation vibes, beach vibes. So again, if I do go on vacation, this would definitely be coming with me. And I just love the color. Such a cute pop of pink. 
with the shells. So let me know what you think about that top. Would you wear that? Do you like that kind of style? Next up is a bathing suit piece. I saw this and I loved it. But they're playing games. Zara and these sizes sometimes plays games. So this is the bathing suit. It's, it's a very 70s, I'll show it in a second. It's a very 70s style print. I got it in a large, but it goes up to extra large, $39.90. So I'm going to try to find it in an extra large. But let's just stop and think for a second. For my fellow large wearers, I know we all have different boob sizes, but for many of us who wears larges and up, what is this cut? What is this cup cover? What is, what is this cup covering? Not much. <laughs> so I tried it on over there. I pulled it up a bit so my boob is actually like underneath because it has like this underwire and it's pretty stiff. But the cup is just not big enough and the back is not enough material. Like I have hips and I have a bottom. <laughs> Let's see if I could just show you. Let me see if I could just show you this mess. Okay, here we go. That's the bottom. I got a lot more bottom than this, okay? So where it cuts off at the top here, if I walk, my crack is gonna start showing. It's not enough fabric for us large girls. Especially for heavier on the bottom. Like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need my crack. I'm gonna need more space. I'm gonna need more space. So this has to go back, which I'm so sad about, because I love, I love this 70s print. As you guys already have probably seen in all the stores, 70s is back, honey. The 90s have been back for a while. The 70s have been back for a little while too, but they're really back again this year with these colors and these fun prints. And I love it. I want to participate. But Zara, I'm going to need some more fabric in this bathing suit because this, I was actually going to wear this as a top in the summertime more than a bathing suit with wide leg pants and such. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but it's what it is. This going back, I'm so sad. You know when you go shopping, because you know you can't try on things in the store now, and you're so excited, you got all these outfits and plans in your head for these looks that you bought, and then they gotta go back. And then you look in your closet and you still don't have that item. But anyway, this, oh, this is the second to last Zara piece. I got this in a large. It only goes up to a large. The price is off, but I want to say $39.90 range. It's this beautiful, I guess like a khaki green, for, not forest green, more like a khaki green jumpsuit, wide leg, super casual. This was going to be like my favorite thing to throw on in the summertime to just run errands. I, could, I was going to put this on with a, like a crew neck t-shirt with short sleeves and wear it to work on like Fridays or something or days where I'm not going to be in too long. You know, so it's super cute, it's super casual, perfect for like vacation vibes too. But, 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 the thighs, the hips, it don't fit. It don't fit. They made this in a large, but for somebody in a small body, <laughs> because there is no way nobody wearing a large, even because I don't even have that many hips, that much hips, but, uh-uh. I had to pull it all the way up so I don't rip the fat. You'll see. You'll see. So that was a little disappointing that this has to go back to, because this was really going to be one of my favorite casual throw-on pieces. And this is the largest it comes in. So if you got hips, booty, and or thigh, the same for you. And Zara would be playing that sometimes. Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes the things are on it. But this time around, it looks like I got a couple of items that's just not going to fit. So this is going back as well. But my last Zara item, I'm keeping it, honey. Let me show you it. Bow. Oh, bam. Look how cute! Um, I just took up the price tag. Let me see how much this costs. Oh gosh! Whew. So I'll wear a size US 10. So this is a 41, and I guess like European sizes. 49.90. I don't like paying that much for shoes, but here we are. But I've actually been in the market for some gold platform shoes. Because y'all know, I think I spoke about this in another video where I'll put it up there somewhere. Like your summer shoe must-haves. Platforms are back. The 70s are back. Platforms are back. Just get with it. Um, so I wanted some gold platform. Not necessarily this kind of gold. I wanted something more, bam, like metallic gold. But all of those are expensive. 
or sold out really quickly and I couldn't get my size. So when I came across these in Zara, and oftentimes I don't find a size 41 in the shoes I want in store because they sell out so fast, I had to grab them up. They are so cute, nice chunky black heel, and it has some padding here to help with comfort. So it's like a gold foil type of shoe, looking shoe. And I just think it's so cute and such a fun way to spice up a look. So over there, I'm wearing it with an item I'll show you probably in the next or the YouTube video after that. Like, a, it's a play suit, long sleeve, super dressy. So I feel like something like that, that's so dressy, I want a statement shoe that's not too distracting, but still, you know, strong enough to wear with such a beautiful beast. So that's when I figured these gold platforms would be great for outfits like that. Um, just, you know, this is definitely a dressy look. Don't know where I'm going to wear it, but this shoe is perfect for it. But, you know what this shoe is also perfect for? Just, you know, spicing up a simple outfit. So let's say you're wearing your high waist or mid waist skinny jeans, because yes, I still love my skinny jeans. And a crop top or a bodysuit or a t-shirt with a blazer, you know, something super casual. You just want to spice up the look just a little bit, throw on these shoes with your jeans. And all of a sudden, your very casual, laid-back look looks very like model off-duty, very posh. So sometimes all you need is like that pop of accessory, and I already have like a gold bag, it's a different color gold, but close enough that I could pop on with this. So definitely going to be using this to spice up some of my otherwise really muted outfits. So let me know in the comments what you think about the platform trend, maybe this color in particular, would you wear like a gold foil big old shoe? Let me know. I'm very interested to know what you guys like. But I'm excited. Hopefully I get to wear this soon. And hopefully they don't hurt my feet. Because if so, I'm going to sell them. <laughs> but yeah. That's the last item from Zara. So you guys, when I went to Zara, they had so, so many cute things. But a lot of them were either $69.90, $89.90, or, you know, I go into places with a budget. I already knew I had all of this. So I couldn't pick up anything else. But they had some beautiful beautiful pieces but I tell myself self-control because that's our sale it's coming up hopefully this month maybe next month so I'm going to keep a mental note of all the things I saw that were too expensive for me pick them up then so now let's get on into the H&M H&M is quick it's three pieces that I needed from my for my wardrobe because I, I used to have a lot of wide leg pants they no longer fit or they're really old like I've been wearing a lot of the same wide leg pants for the last several years few years so you know time to retire them like I said earlier I always have to buy a new pair of denim shorts they always seem to just shrink over the winter <laughs> so I got this pair and this is more like a Bermuda cut maybe because it's very long which I like I feel like my shorter ones are cute but they they give very much beach like oh, I'm just trying to cover my bathing suit so I feel like this I could actually style up and wear it out and the stressing is not too much a little bit on the back pocket here I got this in a size 14 I'm usually in other places a 12 but in H&M I always have to size up one or two sizes for their jeans but honestly, I probably could have got away with 16 too, because the 14 is still a little snug, but it's, it looks good and it fits. So just keep that in mind, again, if you have hips butt or, and or thigh, H&I be playing us too. So size up in your jeans sometimes. And just like a little distressing at the bottom. I forgot how much I paid for these. I think I already took off the tag. Don't know why I didn't wear them. Um, but I want to say they were not expensive. Maybe $24, $24.50-ish. What else do I want to tell you about these jeans? They look cute. You see them there. I plan to wear these in the summertime. And I guess that's it. I just need a new pair of <laughs> denim shorts. So I got a new pair of denim shorts. And they're cute. They're a nice wash. Dress them up, dress them down. You can even wear these with heels because they are longer shorts. They don't look as cheeky in heels and like crop tops because they're longer so 
definitely get your hands on a pair of those. If I could find this online, I will link it in the description box. Like, I'll link all the other stuff from Zara as well. But I know sometimes H&M things sell out quickly. So, if it's not linked, that means I couldn't find it. And then you can just maybe go into store and see if you can find it there. And then, I got another wide leg pants. This one is in black, has a drawstring, size large, $17.99, so the price is right. But the size is not. <laughs> I'm, I'm toying between giving this back, sending it, returning it, and getting it in extra large, or just keeping it. Because I love wearing black palazzo pants to work. I wear them with so many different tops, and you know, just dress it up for work, and then I can also wear them on a weekend to go out. But this one is not really giving palazzo. It's not super tight, but it's not wide leg. You'll see it over there. So I'm considering giving it back and getting it a larger size. I checked online. Well, in the store they didn't have it an extra large. And I think it's sold out online. So I hit the button to notify me if it comes back in stock. So that's the only reason why I'm thinking if I should just keep it. Because my older pair that I used to wear for the last three, four years, they no longer fit. So let me know what you think. How does it look on me? Should I keep it and still wear it to work? Or should I return it and just keep looking for a larger pair? Even if it's from elsewhere. But $17.90, is that what I said? Yeah, $17.99, that's not bad. That's not a bad price. I might just keep it and make it work. And lastly, is that same pants, but in this like stone beige-ish color. This one I was able to get in the extra large fits great the leg there's so much room in the leg I love it it fits how I want my palazzo pants to fit but the waist is too big but because it is a drawstring waist I could just pull it in as tight as I need I don't mind if it bunches a little bit and it's perfect it's doing exactly what I need it to do um, the only thing is again these pants are ooh, is it dirty oh no it's a shadow um, it is pretty long again I'm 5'6 and it's long on me so if you're a more petite person, you might have to get them hemmed, or if you know how to do it yourself, it's pretty easy. Um, once you get the hang of it, you can definitely hem them. Hem them. But again, for $17.99, I think that's a great price. I just wish they had other colors in store. I don't even think they have other colors in this exact cut, because if they did, I'll buy them all. I'll buy them all, wear them to work every day of the week. So yep, this is this color, like a stonish beige. And then I'll also be wearing it on the weekends with like crop tops and stuff. Something's like tickling my face. With, like crop tops and such. And you know, get my cost per wear. So that is all. Let me know what you think about these pieces from the video. Let me know if any of them you think I should get back or any that you are interested in picking up yourself. Um, you can follow me over on Instagram at Coco with Love One, the number one at the end. Um, where you'll see I'll be wearing some of these things throughout the summer so you can see other ways that I style it other than the ways and the cutoffs and the cutaways what else what else everything else will be in the description box you can find the links to my my um, these items to my Instagram to my blog page to my jewelry shop all of it will be in the description box and I look forward to seeing your comments seeing what you think about these pieces and I'll see you in my next video have a great week.